This is a method that I frequently use to paint shelves to make it go quicker. So I mount the shelves on these brackets or cleats with three inch screws. And so this gives me the ability to paint both of the sides of the shelves at the same time. So I, I don't have to do one coat, let it dry, flip it over. I can do all the front edges and the top and bottom in one coat. And that really makes it go quicker. My original plan was to finish the bookcase as it is now, and then when I install it, I would make a cutout here for the profile of the baseboard. Because typically you don't want to cut the baseboard in your house or alter it in any way. Uh, so it makes more sense to cut a notch in the bookshelf so this can be screwed directly to the wall, which is what it's designed to do. I've got to get screws in each of these back stretchers and that's going to carry a lot of the load capacity for the bookshelves. So then I decided, you know, maybe it just makes more sense to cut it here. I just need a couple measurements to get it to fit. And then I don't have to do any touch-up paint when I install this. Um, so I, I, I decided I'm going to do it that way. So I'm going to take this lower shelf apart. I just have to unscrew it because I didn't use any glue in there. And I'm going to cut a half inch back because the baseboard where it's going to go is one half inch thick and about eight inches tall. So I'm going to make that notch, cut down my shelf, and then I'm going to be ready to paint this thing. So just a uh, you know, minor change here. No big deal. Okay, so I modified the bottom shelf and made the notch for the baseboard. And this took about 20 minutes to take it apart, cut it, put it back together. But I figured that's probably going to save me time installing this on site. It's less mess that I'll have to clean up in the house. And the paint job will look a little bit better this way.
Before I apply my top coat, I'm going to do some sanding on the paint. So I have here a coarse 80 grit sanding sponge, and this makes sanding easy, um, you know, for doing inside spaces because you can you can grip it better, and you get a big wide surface. And then for edges, I'll go over it with used 80 grit sandpaper. And this sandpaper is on its last leg here. It's pretty worn out, but it still works okay for sanding paint. Okay, so here's an example of the grain raising up after the first coat of paint. You can see around where the knots are, there's, it gets really, really rough because those wood fibers, they, they stand almost straight up. And so if I painted over that without sanding, it would make a really blotchy rough spot in the wood. But if I just hit it real quick with some 80 grit sandpaper, it just takes down all those fibers. Okay, I'm done with my second coat, and according to my timer, that took about 40 minutes. And to do the sanding, uh, that took about another 10 minutes. So it's uh, two hours of finish work to do a two coat paint finish on a bookcase, rolling and brushing. So I'll be doing the install maybe later today. Actually, I think it's going to rain today, so I'll probably do it tomorrow. So, and then this job will be done, and then I can move on to the next.